Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we got something really good for you guys. So this here is the Razer Mamba Elite, which is an optical mouse rather than a laser sensor mouse. Because we all know back then, Mambas used to be laser. Uh, there's a lot of people who are skeptical of laser mouse because they say it's not accurate. I've never had a laser mouse, but this one right here is the Razer, Razer Mamba Elite. And this one is the new 2018 edition. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, show you the inside, show you in the back and everything, details about this mouse to let you know this is an actual mouse, that it's not a fake, and it's also uh, not an old version of the Mamba, which is laser. This is definitely an optical mouse. So I'm gonna try to do my best and show you how it looks. This is the front of the box. Go to the back, this is where the interesting part happens. If you read in the back, it will say uh, right over here, true 16 DPI optical sensor. Uh, I can see if I can get that in the camera. Let's see. But yeah, I was surprised myself. I, when I went to the store, I couldn't figure it out if this was a new or old one. I never got the Mamba, mostly because I, was, I didn't want to get like a a laser mouse because I heard a lot of things people saying oh don't get laser mouse they're not as accurate as as um, optical mouse that's why I always had the Death Valley Elite but I really like the the light strips on the Mamba so I'm kind of excited and happy that they've made a optical sensor Mamba because this basically gives you best of both worlds you get RGB chroma and an optical sensor for accuracy so you get your usual paperwork that Razer always gives you like thank you for buying from Razer um, Razer Mamba Elite packet usual brand cable in the back and I'm, like ripping this box up I'm kind of excited open it from the front oh no it just slides right out like this get rid of that but yeah here it is let it focus there it goes Razer Mamba Elite. Definitely a new mouse. 2018. Most people think it's the old edition or repackaging of the old one, but this one's definitely an optical sensor mouse. Super clicky. Get those audios in there. The Razer Mamba Elite, one of the first mouse with an optical sensor in the, in the Mamba line. A few things that's new with this mouse. Underneath you'll have a profile switch. There is storage on here so you can save profiles and switch between them with the button right here. It's indicated by an LED light, changes colors depending on which profile. Another key feature that's new to this mouse is there's a left and a right click. You can customize that and raise the Synapse 3.0 to whatever you like. You can do two key bindings, you can do macros. It lets you really customize the left and the right click on the scroll wheel. To me personally, the mouse feels a lot like the Death Adler Elite. It has similar buttons on the side. So if you had a Death Adler and never went to the Mamba like me, because you were afraid of using the laser, but wish you had that extra chroma strips, like I've always, I always wanted it, um, this is the perfect solution for that. I also realized that in the Synapse, you had to use the newer version of the Razer Synapse 3. It's in beta right now. I had never downloaded it until recently because it wouldn't recognize it on the Synapse 2.0. Really glad that Razer is listening to their fans and their people out there that buy their stuff. Making this mouse is perfect for those people who wanted the Razer Chroma effects along with an accurate optical sensor underneath. So this is my unboxing video and a quick overview of the Razer Mamba Elite. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below and hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see my future videos more about the Razer Mamba Elite. I'm going to do a full review on this later on. I'm also going to do an unboxing video slash review of the Razer Huntsman Elite.